Alright, we're on a muzzleloader hunt today, and I'm so excited because I actually get to hunt with my husband. The grandparents have the boys, and we are going to enjoy just a nice evening sit. No scouting. No scouting. It's hot. It is very hot. <laughs> so this is what the woods look like after Hurricane Ian. It's alright, the deer are still here. At least we should be able to hear them walking.
know what just happened. I just had to shoot him twice. Um, oh, I, th I think he's down. I thought I, I, I thought I saw his rack lay down, but um, he was only like 50 yards, and I shot him. I felt good about it. I shot. He just stood there for like a minute, just standing there looking around. Um, so I reloaded, and I, I just kept watching him to see what he was doing. And then finally he took one step and I put it on him and I shot again. And that time he mule kicked and he, I mean, he didn't go anywhere. He's, he's just right there like 60 yards. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened with that first shot. I, I felt good about it. Um, it right, right before, I, I may have hit him the first time, I don't know. I, I don't know what happened, but he's, he's down now. He's, he didn't, he didn't go anywhere, so. Um, yes, nice eight point. Nice, real, real tall rack. Dang, I cannot sit in my tree stand this year without shooting something. That's, that's not a bad problem. I'm very, very thankful for this. All right, let's call Tom. I know he heard me shot two times. He's probably thinking, what in the hell? down. I don't know what happened the first shot. It, it's it's a nice one. So, Tom is on the ground. He just climbed down. He's headed my way. And I guess um, since I, I know this boy isn't going anywhere, um, I'm going to start easing down and packing up my stuff. And uh, we'll go walk over to him and uh, see what he looks like. It took, it took a second, but we figured it out. It looks pretty good. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh, look at this boy. Oh, man. Big old seven point. Oh, yay. Look at that rack. Yeah. That's a nice one. Look at him. Heck yeah, it is. Look how thick he is, his bases. Oh. Hey, you hit him, you hit him both times. I sure did. There's a shot there, and there's a shot there. All right. Um, okay, that, that makes me feel better, because that first time I shot. Look at him. That's a nice buck right there. Yeah, it is. Good job. Yes. <laughs> you got to have a work cut out for us now. Oh, though. my goodness. We got to float him out, and yeah, look at him. All I could see was that G2. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm probably going to shoot this one. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> he's, got, he's got four inch bases at least. So, I'm very glad that I passed on the first one because he was a lot smaller. <laughs> the mosquitoes are freaking terrible. I know. Um, so, this is my seven point. He is definitely a lot bigger than I originally thought he was. Well, I really thought he was an eight, but I, I can it didn't matter. I knew I was shooting him. Yeah. Um, passed up a little buck earlier on. I say little. He was he was respectable too, but um, decided just to chase on the doe, right? Yeah, chasing the doe. Um, this boy came out at like what five fifteen? Um. Five thirty. Or no, I'm sorry, six. Yeah, six o'clock. Like six o'clock. Six ten, something like that. Um, nice and slow. He eased up out of the strand. 
and uh, took his time making his way out to me, but um, I shot the first time, and I, I already said this on video earlier, but shot the first time and he just kind of hopped a couple of times and stood there. I reloaded and I didn't have a clear shot. I couldn't really see what was going on, but just as soon as he like, he stepped forward and, and cleared the tree, I just went ahead and shot again because I, I really didn't know what was going on. But um, he went down and this is what we have now. To be a, yeah, freaking big old body swamp buck. His, and you know, I really couldn't study him for a long time before I shot him. Um, I just saw him, you know, coming through the, the cabbage palms and stuff and knew that he was a shooter, so. We'll be, but, we'll be floating him out of here most of the way. Yeah, I hope we don't get eaten by an alligator. Yeah, he didn't get eaten, so I think we'll be all right. But, um, yeah, that's deer number four for me. Yes, you're almost done. Um, public land, again. Excuse my shaky hand, I got mosquitoes eating me alive right now. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get him out of here. All right, good all job, right. boo. Thanks. That is a nice sight right there. And I swear in my life I do help drive my own deer out. I think his body was a little bit bigger than I thought it was. I originally said I thought it was a little deer. It's not so little now. Okay, I'll help now. I saw something. I saw something really cool right here. Oh, he's going down. I want to see this real quick. Oh, there he is. And that's what we don't want to see. When we're dragging a deer out in the deep ass water. Let's get a better look at him. Oh, look how cute he is. Hey, buddy. I guess he thinks I can't see him. Alright, oh god. Oh man. I'm gonna get going. Wait for me! Yeah. Oops, I'm stuck on him.